predictions from the line of best fit. The scatter plot shows the time spent studying X and the midterm score Y for each of 23 students. So we can see our X here along the horizontal axis is the time spent studying in hours and our Y axis here is the midterm score. And there's 23 uh, data points on our scatter plot for the 23 students. Use the equation of the line of best fit. Okay, so they're giving us right here the equation for the line. Okay, so this is the equation for this line going through those data points. To answer the questions below, give exact answer, answers, not rounded approximations. So question A says, what is the predicted midterm score for a student who doesn't spend any time studying? Okay, so time spent studying here, we're looking at zero zero times studying and we can see from this line it's not extended all the way to the y-axis but if I did kind of extend it further it looks like it would be crossing somewhere between 10 and 20 okay um, but since they want exact answers we can't just kind of approximate or guess from the graph here we're going to have to use the equation so if I'm spending zero time studying, and zero is x, right, my time studying, then I'm going to plug x into that equation, okay? So here in my calculator, I'm going to put in uh, 3.80, oops, let me clear there, Okay, 3.80 times, instead of x, I'm putting in 0 because we're spending 0 times studying, plus 15.8. And I get 15.8. Okay, so my exact answer here is 15.8. So that's the predicted midterm score. Not too great, right? You certainly wouldn't want 15% on your midterm. Um, what is the predicted midterm score for a student who studies 15 hours? Now we can see from our graph here at, at about 15, right, the midterm score should be between 70 and 80, just kind of approximating, right, that point right there. Um, but let's go ahead and substitute in 15 for x into our own equation here to get an exact answer. So again, 3.80 times instead of x we're putting in 15 plus 15.8 and the mid the predicted midterm score would be 72.8 for an increase of one hour in the time spent studying okay so for every increase here in the time spent studying what is the predicted increase in the midterm score Okay, so we're saying for every one we move over in the x direction, how much are we going up in the y direction? How much is the midterm score increasing? Well, that's just the slope, our rate of change, right? Midterm score over time spent studying. So the slope here in our equation is 3.80. So what this number literally means is every time I increase x by 1, the time spent studying, my total score changes by adding another 3.8 to my midterm score. Okay, so this answer right here is 3.8. This is my y-intercept right there, okay? We actually substituted in zero. We could have just seen it straight from the equation right there. 15.8 is my y-intercept. There's my slope, okay? And then we predicted a score.